you hurt, we hurt, you know? But I did not craft that message. That was Denise. I did not. I didn't have time to craft a message. That's what you got, no Hey guys, and a welcome to Little Player, but you know what time it is, you know what time it is. Uh, talking to you guys about Denise, narcissism. So you was accusing Rashid of being a narcissist, but you yourself have begun to exhibit narcissistic traits. Sis, sis, how? Be her mouthpiece. If anybody, it would have been him. If anybody, it would have been him. That is narcissistic. I'm, I'm sorry. How? You went on Rashid at the beginning of the season, moving the maddest, and yet it looks like you are the narcissist. Let's get down and dirty, baby. Let's talk about some real stuff. Make sure you're, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for the notification of the world up. Loads. And for those of you who are returnees, well, <laughs> you already know the model, baby. You got a man of props. You got a man of props. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's talk about Denise. Let's talk some real stuff. Okay, let's talk some real stuff. Um, I think with the Denise situation, unfortunately, um, you know, we saw in the beginning of the season where she accused Rashid of being a narcissist and then labeled incorrectly what a narcissist was. And I really believe that was projecting. And I said this from the very beginning of the jump. And this is why I was so frustrated with certain people that comment and be like um, making excuses for Denise. And I'm like, let me tell you something. Attitude is from the very beginning you can see it right and this show will pick up attitudes of people remember these guys do extensive tests before they enter the show they know your personality they know your type they know what you're like so bef before you even get to say oh the sh production and the show showed me in a certain way i'm like yeah but they showed you what you are because they know your personality type and so when we saw obviously her original behavior acting with rashid where she was so um uh, uh, you know, the way she almost ignored him when he put the glass in her hand. You gotta come with your A-game, boo. Here you are, man. Uh-oh. I got it. Thank you. This is having to go and get her own glass and make it extravagant. You know, having to compete with him when it came to the HSBCU stuff. Like, it was just too much. I said about the, I said about the stereotypical black woman that they like to play. And she ended up playing that role. But I think she even went further than that. I think she went too far, you know? And so, um, you know, she actually started to show signs of narcissism. Now, I hope, and I say signs, I don't think she's a narcissist, I say signs. I hope um, that, you know, she's going to be reflective over this because this is big. And I thought someone commented saying, obviously, but Denise apologised. No, but watch the apology. You see, it's not just an apology. I, as, again, someone else did this and I can't think it was. Brian did the exact same thing. When you apologise and you say, I'm sorry if you feel like, that type of apology is when you feel like you're being hard done by, but you're willing to apologise in some shape or form. I'm sorry if you feel like, listen to the words. It's not taking accountability. It's saying if you feel like. I've you to have a voice while you're not here. And if that was a problem, I do apologize. And I did call you and tell you about that. You didn't tell me like everything you said. I've done this kind of apology before. When I feel like, oh, there's no way I was wrong, but I'm willing to apologize here. I feel like, I'm sorry if you feel like I was rude right you know what i'm saying because what you're trying to say is that i'm not stating that as a matter of fact for me on my end oh no no sorry so she so when she when denise apologized said i'm sorry if i f if you feel like it was no no there's no i feel there's no feel like sis you were out of order out of it okay you were out of order and so when you did that of course when she said oh i wasn't trying to make it about me sis yes you were you see in a even though you were even though you spoke about what joy would have said it was all about you because you took it upon yourself to to deliver a message saying joy said this to me first of all it's a lie because joy didn't say that Two, for you to take on and say, I wanted you to have a voice through me is why people will think that you have a grandiose self-image. Why does she need to speak through you? Why do you think that you are so big enough in 
in, in, in the group and in, in Joy's life that you can be the spokesperson, the mouth for her when she hasn't asked you to. Added to that, I didn't even think that you had a close relationship like that. Not saying you weren't affected by her situation, but you took a whole scenario which was about Joy and made it about you. Because what you... Like I was trying to talk about myself because this wasn't even about myself. This was about you. So... Lisa, I don't think it was ill and did was you took the story to the situation, formulated some keywords, and the keywords were really odd as well. It's like, oh, Kafani, Rashid, um, Jay, da da da. You know, she had great connections with you, but she said, obviously, stay in the show for love. Did she? Why you say what? What? Sis, what? Did Joy say that? No. Anthony, she says, y'all keep up your fight. Be here for love. And uh, just stay true to yourself. And she says she knows that you... As she said herself, she didn't have time to craft those words. So the fact is that Denise actually crafted these words. And the words are very important. What she says. Stay in it for this love. Wait, sis, what? Wait, what? Isn't that about you? And that's got nothing to do with Joy. Joy, Joy doesn't need to carve on stay in for love. Like, yo, like, she doesn't need that. <laughs> she doesn't, she's not thinking about that as far as she's concerned. Do you feel what I'm saying? So the fact that she took that upon herself, and obviously Jay knew that, um, because I think um, Jay must have told, Jay would have probably told Joy that, you know, Denise said those words to her. And so that's how it got to Joy as well. And then obviously Denise said, obviously, yeah, she called Joy. But then Joy said, listen, when you called, you did not say it. You said it like that. You did not say it like that. And that's why Jay was so pissed and saying, obviously, I can't give you a pass because it's like, yo, who does that? And even Edwin was like, what? The, like, who does that? Who takes a moment that is not about you and decides on their own to make it about them? With, and she was like, I'm not self-centered. Yes, you are. Because you took a scenario and formulated something that put you at the center to express something that was not expressed. So it made it about you. Right. I'm not I'm not saying I don't have sympathy or empathy for Denise. I want you to very, very, very clearly hear what I'm saying to you, which is what I've been saying all season. You need to understand that your the years that you spent um, away doesn't make you a healed. You need to actively attack to heal yourself when it comes to emotional breakages. Yeah. And oftentimes this can come through, yes, experiences with other people after that, we can heal through that. But you also need to identify if there are things in you that are fully broken that need repairing from like say if you hurt yourself, like a doctor needs to like if you have a broken arm, you go to the doctors because you know that you're gonna need a cast and you need a metal rod probably inside of there. Same thing emotionally when you're broken to a certain when you're broken to a certain point, yeah? Not that you're scarred, not that you're cut, you're broken. Then you need doctor's help, therapy, counselling, you know what I'm saying, one-to-one -one teaching and coaching, whatever it is, to begin to, be, to begin the process of looking at oneself, self-reflecting and saying, hey, there's a part of me that needs this healing. There's a part of me that needs to able to go, hey, look, I'm moving mad. Do you get it? Right? So the, 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 whole, the whole situation when, and even her apology Look at the energy she brought at the end of it. Oh, but very self-centered. It wasn't even like I was trying to talk about myself because this wasn't even about myself. This was about you. So, Lisa, I don't think it was. Ill. Why, why, why the roll in the eyes? Why the head swivel? Why all of that? If you genuinely meant what you said in terms of apology, why all that energy after? Why? Because you're being told off. That's why I said to you, all that stuff with the, uh, we gotta break up. Y'all think it's funny. I'm not laughing at that. That's not funny. I, I, you see, because I've experienced manipulation, um, people who have some, some people that have had some narcissistic traits, and I didn't spot it at first. I just felt the energy was wrong. I didn't, I couldn't explain it to you at the time. Do you know what I mean? I was young, right? But I saw that how the person would behave. You know, I do something for you, and it's like, but I did it so that when next time I need a favor, I'm gonna make I'm gonna use it against you. Oh, come on, help me this it. Oh, didn't I help you when I did this to the and they, they always remind you of things that they did, right? And I sensed that energy and I sensed that from Denise and I said, nah. So when I was given these reviews, I was trying to tell you, no, I see that energy.
And the thing about people who are manipulative and 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 I'm I'm saying it in the best, and I'm not trying to say that she's she's necessarily trying to be. Because again, I'm not saying she's narcissistic. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that because I wouldn't say that she even has a. She, well, she, I wouldn't say that. Oh, she lacks empathy per se, in a sense. But what I can say is that she would use a situation for her advantage, which she did. Oh, she did. Because this was a sensitive situation. And instead of just being sensitive with everybody else, she used it as a way to prop herself up. Do you know what I'm saying? And her explanation wasn't any better. Darling, it wasn't any better. So when I look at it, and I look at the concourse of the whole season and behaviours, you know, um, I, I, I get scared because I'm like, sis, you need to spend time healing. You need to spend time with yourself and actually actively working on oneself. What the hell would I have had time to craft a message like that for you all? In your mind, come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. So that you don't become, a, and this is why I said to you guys about the videos we're putting out, the good guy videos we're putting out. Guys, the next one's on Monday. Make sure you check it as well, 6 p.m. The reason why we're putting out that vid, those videos is so that when you do meet women like this, or women, when you meet men like this, because you have effective boundaries, that person effectively will go out of bounds. And when you keep going out of bounds, you can say, hey, you keep going out of bounds on your bike. Because you'll meet people like this. You'll meet people like this who at first will seem so innocent and cool and maybe it's just a bad attitude. And you'll realise the bad attitude really is a serpent waiting to be a dragon. You know, I say this to you guys all the time, that in, in the Garden of Eden, it was a serpent. But when it got to Revelation, it was a dragon. Things grow. And so when someone's got that attitude, you may think, oh, it's just a bad attitude. I've been there. I've done it. I said, oh, no, I know the, girl, the girl's story. I know how she is. Da, da, da. And I realised, no, the person's manipulating me. And the person's doing it more and more and more, right? A lot of the stuff is a fear of abandonment. A lot of the stuff is being hurt beyond, you know, being hurt over and over again, being unable to trust people, um, you know, and being fearful of, of, of intimacy because when you get that close, people will see how broken you are. A lot of that stuff is, is a lot of that stuff is embedded in that. So, you know, just to see that. And even when, you know, I just, I just wished... I ra wish that Denise just came to, to the group and said, look, you know what, guys, I flipped up. I fluffed up. It was a maddest moment. It then shuts everybody up. But because she gets on trying to defend herself by saying, I'm not self-centered and da, da da And I'm looking at like, um, yeah, you are self-centered. There's no malicious or trying to be like, or whatever, being self-centered, because there's nothing about me that's self-centered. I'm sorry. There's just certain lines you don't cross. That's all. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that was about you. You know what I mean? You you made it about you. And maybe there's parts of you that you don't really want to be honest about yourself with. That there are parts of you that are very selfish and self-centered. Right? And I'm not cussing it in a way like it's like, oh, she's mad self-centered. But it's just that when I look at the behaviors, I'm like, oh, come on, Denise. Come on, Denise. Come on, Denise. You know the way she, the way that she couldn't, she couldn't explain the narcissism when she was talking to talking. Even on the interview that we did, she couldn't explain the narcissism, and she rather. And here's another thing about Denise is the lack of accountability, the deflection. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said it's not accountable to apologize and say I'm sorry with a head swivel at the end with attitude, and to say I'm sorry, I've, I'm sorry you felt like this. That is not accountable, guys. So I want to warn you guys: do not think that you can save them. Okay, you are not Superman, you are not KL, you're not JL, whatever his name is, you're not Clark Kent, you are not Green Arrow, you are not Wonder Woman, okay? Yeah, you are not these superheroes. Let them heal on their own. So many of you guys were asking, why is Carl Fanny keep talking? Maybe this is why he keeps talking. Guys, make sure you stay locked and loaded. We appreciate you and we will talk soon. Leave your comments down below and tell us what you thought about the show.